Welcome to my lecture online. Now in the previous video we found the unit tangent vector of this position vector right here. In this video we're going to find the unit normal vector and you'll find out it's actually quite easy to do once you've already found the unit tangent vector. As we have seen in the past that if this is the definition of the unit tangent vector where it's some function of the parametric variable t in the i direction plus another function of the parametric variable of t in the j direction then to find the unit normal vector all you have to do is take the negative of this function and place it here and the positive of this function and place it there. So it's quite straightforward. For our convenience we've taken the solution here, the general solution and then turn it into, well actually I shouldn't write an equal sign there because that's not really equal. What I should have done is that the position, the, uh, the, the, the unit tangent vector when t is equal to 2 is equal to that. So this is the general form of the unit tangent vector. This is the specific form of the unit tangent vector for the value when t is equal to 2. And that's what we found in the previous video. So we're going to take that very same solution and turn it into the unit normal vector. So doing that, so this is equal to the negative of this function, so the negative of 3 over the square root of 10, and that would be in the i direction, and then plus the positive of this portion right here, that component would be 1 over the square root of 10 in the j direction. And so that would then become the unit vector in the normal direction or called the normal unit vector when, and of course I need to plug in here, when the parametric variable t is equal to 2. Now another thing that might be useful to know is that realizing that the unit tangent vector is parallel to the curve at the location where the pointing vector is pointing to and if the parametric variable is time then of course it would be parallel to the velocity of a component on that curve and then we divide that by its own magnitude to find the unit tangent vector, which is here. And then to find the unit normal vector, we do a rotation counterclockwise of 90 degrees to find the direction of the unit normal vector. So in this case, since the tangent vector is pointing this way, then we rotate in 90 degrees, that will be the direction of the unit normal vector. Again, cautioning that this here is not necessarily a representation of what's there. This is just a general functional form, so you can see how this works. And so this is how you find the direction, and this is how you find the components of the unit normal vector. And that's how it's done.